I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Ghana, Ohio with a stop at the Department of Motor Vehicles where we find a frauditor who thinks he knows it all but really knows nothing and he's trespassed from the DMV. How lovely. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our rights to take photos and videos in public and in publicly accessible areas, and also to annoy a few people who think I'm impersonating Sean Paul Reyes. No, man, it's a tribute. Chill, man, chill. A few minutes later. Scouting a property for the next Quentin Tarantino movie. And he wants to make sure everybody at the no local way. BMV is, no uh, is chill. I'm telling no you, that's, that's why I didn't tell you, because you wouldn't believe me. Would you believe I'm shooting a, uh, doing an article for Ebony Magazine on the lightest city in America? And this is definitely not it, which is good. Which is good. What is this boy babbling about? Man, oh, shut your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself, frauditor. Or is that the point? <laughs> hey, that's my name, Michael. So did you contact the BMB headquarters to find out if it's okay for you to come in and shoot in here? I did not. Well, let's just shut it down then until you get permission from the Bureau to be here. I'll be honest with you, the, the Bureau does not override my First Amendment rights. So if the Bureau said you, you, your you First Amendment today? doesn't apply... Are you here today as a customer? Are you in need of some licensing today? I am not in any need in the, of any assistance from you today, no. All right. Well, I think then in the interest of the privacy of the other people in the office, you should shut that down. You know we're in, we're in public, though, right? You realize this is a public place. It's a oh, I, I state aid, that, state agency. I understand that, that I have a lease on this space and that I pay for the use of this space, and you're not renting any space from me. So I'm asking you to shut it down. I don't know if anybody caught what that man just said, but here in the state of Ohio, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles offices are privately owned. Yeah, the state does not run those offices. Private entities run those offices. So, Frauditor, you're going to have to go. So the First Amendment applies in here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave me alone. Or, or if you feel I'm here illegally, then I would I'm encourage not, you. I'm not an attorney, okay. but I think it would be courteous of you to shut that camera down in respect for the other customers in this office. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about it, ma'am? I watch this on the damn YouTube sir, 900 sir, times a day. This, this isn't illegal. Go away and do your job. Go on. Scram. Scram. Do your job. So you're telling me how to do my job. I'm encouraging you to do your job. I'm not telling you how to do it. Thank you. I'm encouraging you to do your job. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. It's been a pleasure. We got a little more work to do. Two things about this fraud editor. He has absolutely no common sense and he must be endowed with rather large cojones. Well, I don't know about all that, but let's carry on. Now, good people, I have to speed this up because this video was over an hour long. We're not going to watch anywhere near that much. Just long enough to see him get kicked out. What do you think about that? Ah, cheers to that, right? 11 minutes later. Very good. How are you? You're here to talk to me? Yeah. May I ask what your name is? Officer McDougal. McDougal. Nice to meet you. Mike. All right. Um, if you don't mind, can we talk outside real quick? Just right outside the door? I don't want to disrupt their business. That's why I want to talk to you. I'll be frank with you. Officer McDougal, I am in the middle of a project right now. 
and I very much do believe the cop quietly. I, I fear if I walk out of this office, I will not be allowed to walk back in because they will lock the doors. It's okay. happened before, and I have every right to be in here. Um, I'm not bothering anybody other than people that freak out about cameras, even though they have cameras watching us. Mm -hmm. It's a public place, and I told the gentleman, you know, I was very polite to, I'm just minding my own business, getting a little B-roll footage for, for a story I'm working on. Oh, these frauditors, always working on a story for YouTube, huh? The lame YouTube channels. But this guy's doing pretty well, man. I don't know how he gets so many people to watch his channel. A bunch of nonsense, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, he's making a pretty penny right now, I can tell you that. I'll be out of here shortly. I, I'm not I'm not disrespecting anybody. I'm not being rude. I was chit-chatting with, with uh, customers in here and stuff. Very pleasant. Um, but it's, it's, it is a, a state-run facility, and it is legal to be in here taking photographs. Have and they asked you to leave? Though? They have not asked me to leave, and if they did, uh, it would be, well, they, they don't have the right, I mean, it's like, if I walk into this, the, the county clerk's office mm -hmm. and I have a camera, they can't ask me to leave the county clerk's office because I have a camera. This isn't McDonald's, it's a public, it's, it's a state entity. Mm -hmm. So McDonald's could ask me to leave for taking pictures, they could. The BMV can't ask me to leave for taking photographs. It's it's just they can't. Oh, they can ask you to leave, and they will ask you to leave, and you will have to go, frauditor. Even though you've committed no crime, you're still going to have to go, boy. Yeah, that's the way it works. They, they're not authorized to do so, and their higher ups have made it very clear in memos to them. People can take pictures in the BMV. It's it's a public facility. Now, if there is somebody here that is authorized and willing to sign a no trespass order saying, we want this man trespassed in our office, I absolutely will be, 100%. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna stay if I'm not legally entitled to stay here. So, in this particular case though, I'm very much legally entitled to stay here. I, I should have told them, if you're gonna call the authorities, you might wanna call the feelings enforcement and not law enforcement, because I'm not breaking any laws. So, and the gentleman around that, and he's a nice guy, Michael, he's around the corner there, big tall guy. Okay. You know, I tried to explain to him, I'm in public. Yeah. I'm sorry if you don't like, and, and I know full well why this particular BMV is, is not fond of cameras. All right, good people, we're going to have to speed this up again because our frauditor tends to run at the mouth. He just doesn't know when to shut up. Hey, let's get to the part where they tell him to get out. Or maybe a little bit before that. Yeah, we're going to speed it up, though. Don't worry. A few minutes later. You know, I do not have an idea on me. I'll be frank with you. I typically don't report my unless I am so, so generally, yeah, I do not forfeit my ID unless I'm uh, committing a crime or accused of committing a crime. <laughs> What may end up happening though is if they determine that they at least want you to leave, um, we can ask for you to leave. Okay. And it's on our request that that isn't done. Uh, it does turn into uh, you get in trouble. Sure, sure. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. If, if it comes down that he has the authority okay. to ask. All I would ask is if it comes to it where you guys decide, yeah, you know, we're going to ask this man who's not breaking the law to yeah. leave. I would respectfully request that you guys run it past the supervisor and make sure that you're I believe that would be a blatant violation of the Constitution. So we run the past whoever has the authority and they have. Always a crybaby and want that supervisor, don't they? Oh, I don't want you to violate my constitutional rights. Now I ask you folks. How many of you out there want to walk into the Department of Motor Vehicles or whatever it's called in your state and record people? How many of you? That's what I thought. None of you. Let's carry on. Moments later. Are you a private contractor? I am an I am an independent journalist. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And you're saying, and can you tell me again the reason why the, the proprietor of the business, the, the person who runs this business? It's this is a this, yeah. this building, so he's like the building manager. Probably I don't know what his association is with the BMV. Essentially, well, the, the last BMV I went to, 
All right, folks, this just drags on, and he stands there, and he talks, and he talks, and he just won't shut up. So we're going to have to skip through all this dead air. This is craziness. 20 minutes later. Um, you are in violation of the okay? Uh, there is no defense to a charge of criminal trespass that you're on the property of a public entity that is asked you to leave. But they haven't asked me to leave. Mr. Malone says he's told me. So the person who called us he asked so me he's to talked to you twice. He asked me not take photos. Well, he's asking to leave now. So okay. I'm all acting right. as his agent. So. Okay. All right. I respect that then. Okay. And do you have his name? I, I, can I. Actually, if you don't mind, can I see your ID? Um, so. Are you saying that I uh, that I am in violation of a law? You're saying yeah, that I'm so violating the law? The minute that he tells you that you need to leave. Okay. But he didn't. He, he, he didn't. I have it on video. Well, he, I have it on video. He said. Can you show me what yeah, probably could actually, but. Decisions, decisions. Should the frauditor end his live stream or prove his point? Well, he does, but he has to step outside to do that. And once he goes outside, he's not coming back in. Roll that clip. Five minutes later. To, to not shut my camera down, I haven't broken any laws here. And I don't have my driver's license on me anyways, but even if I did, unless I'm in blatant violation of law, I would not typically hand over my driver's license. Well, at this point, he's asked us on, on his behalf to have you. Sure, I understand. And and I and I have left. And so, do you, did, you say, did you get his name so I can contact his, his people? I mean, I need to know who it is that's asking me to leave. Did you give him a call number? Not yet. I haven't gotten it or anything like that. I got it ready to go. Yeah. Would you I like just, the call number? I just like the, well, you know what? Well, here's the thing. I mean, can I, can I ask you a question? Why order. should I provide his information to you? Well, he's a public servant. Uh, but I don't have any reason to ask him for his information, do I? Yeah, I understand. But I can get it. His name is Michael, and he, he runs this place. So I, it will not be difficult for me. I'm to sure you can thing. get it yeah. because it's public. But, yeah, I generally don't give my information out um, unless I'm legally obligated to do so. In this particular case, I am not legally obligated to do so. It's plain to see that the lad is a YouTube law expert. He's not obligated to show his identification, and he's not going to have his Fourth Amendment rights violated because he already had his First Amendment rights violated. That's bad enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm out of there, and I'm not going back in there. I'll file a complaint with the state. And, and yeah, we're talking to the PR like you said at the very beginning of the video. Though. Well, that's the it. The they they want me to talk to the PR because they don't want to deal with themselves. So he doesn't want you to come back. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Pleasure, sir. Mike Norton? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, anyway, um, yeah, I uh, I am definitely out of there. And um, I'm assuming I'm legal to be outside, right? There's no problem being outside? No problem. So. So, yeah, basically, there's the parking lot or that part of the sidewalk is outside the BMD's leased property. Sure. So, what, what, uh, what film are you guys looking for? What's that? What film are you counting for? Um, well, uh, I can't get into any details as far as the purpose of the report. Oh, by all means, it has to remain top secret because we don't want anybody to find out the truth that you're an uneducated, unemployed frauditor, and the only way you can make a buck is by putting this nonsense on YouTube for ad revenue. Pitiful boy, just pitiful. The purpose of reporting. Oh, I'm just a movie fan. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, there are multiple reasons why I'm doing this recording and that is just one of many, so. Do you have any journalism credentials? I'll be honest with you. I'd be willing to press, bet you. Press I'd be willing to bet you. You wouldn't even know what that looks like. Probably not. I could make something line. up that says laminated and has my picture on it. And says do you press. Have something like that? I I do have press credentials. I do not have them on me because I generally don't identify myself. What outlet do you report for? Uh, I I can't reveal that until after I'm done here because it could. Uh, it. I'll tell you. What, so the, hey, the reporting part of it is not, is yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. That's, that's, you're free to do that. Sure. They just don't want you back in the business. They don't. Is this about the biggest bunch of bloody palava you ever heard in your life? Oh, I have press kit here. I just didn't bring them. I got credentials. Yeah, I got them. Right. And then all this nonsense about he can't tell anybody what the story's about. Why not? You're just going to post it on YouTube for clicks and views. It's so pitiful. 
And this happens every day all around the country, just wasting time over what? Nothing. And so, to be clear, so so can they throw anybody out of this business for anything? Because, I mean, I feel like my, my constitutional rights are being violated so here today is he, what it is. Leases the space for the state. He's the proprietor of the business. He can refuse. But the, the state does, though. The state he, leases this. He is operating this. He is the agent of this business. Okay. okay. So it's the same thing if you went to McDonald's. Yeah, but it's not though. It's McDonald's is a private company, a private business. Correct. He's the owner of this, but he is but an he, agent of the state. Okay. So nah, we'll is, we'll have to agree to disagree. Okay. I, I respect your your so, uh, stance on that, but yeah, it's, it's wrong. He just doesn't want you coming back in. He doesn't want you disrupting his business. I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand. Yeah, he what doesn't want cameras in here is what he what he doesn't want. That's it. It's it's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'll uh, you know my battle's not with you guys. I'll I'll file a complaint with the BMV and right. and get that overturned and then come in here and, and and teach him a lesson that he can't have me tossed out. It just he can't. Well, there you have it, folks. That video was well over one hour long, and that guy whined and cried and belly ate all to no avail. Because I told you, those offices in Ohio are private. They may be owned by the state, but they're not run by the state. He has to understand the difference in that. But not to worry, he'll learn one day. In the meantime, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Frauditor. Find a real job, boy. Come on now, get a real job. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really, no reason I'm really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me, you are a public servant. You are a public servant, you work for me.